I'm Hazel Blood and I'm office manager. Okay. And I've been here for nine and a half years. John had a favourite saying that all of us here know, um, every day's a holiday, every meal's a feast. And um, he, he really felt that every day should be a sort of feel like a holiday in the Conservancy. And, and I think that way he got the best out of all of us. Um, he always had um, an open door policy and whatever your problem, any member of staff, he, you know, you could pop your head round the door and he'd say, oh, Hazel, my dear, and you'd come in and put the world to rights with him and that, and he, all, he had that time for everybody. And um, I think that's what made him a special sort of person, really. He, when he first came, apparently, he introduced the staff training day, which is usually about October, end of the season, and we'd all go for a very long, quite arduous walk, had to have undulations in it, and um, then we'd all go for a pub lunch, and it worked really well. It was good downtime for everybody after the end of the season, and it, you know, everybody, Sort of, we, we were a big family. In 2005, he got an OBE and he was very proud of it. And we were extremely proud of him as well for getting that. And he was so excited about going to meet the Queen and receive his honour. And after he came back, he arranged for us all to have a champagne breakfast at the Itch and Sailing Club and we got to see his OBE and he he was he was just so chuffed about it. He was really pleased, yeah, yeah. John had a Springer Spaniel, Meg, and she used to come to work with him every day and um, she used to spend her whole day in his office with him and he'd take her out for walks. Then at lunchtime, different members of the staff would probably take him for a walk, her a walk as well. And um, I, my office was underneath John's office and I'd often sit there and I could hear this bang, 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 bang and it was Meg having a good old scratch. And, uh, so, no, but she, she was um, a very important part of the team, really. Unfortunately, um, in August 2010, John died very suddenly. He was doing the thing he loved best. He was out sailing in his sunbeam flurry with his wife Valerie and unfortunately he suffered a serious heart attack and died. Um, we were all obviously devastated because we, we were very close um, to him and spent lots of time with him working and um, we were a family really and uh, so it did hit us all very hard but he was a wonderful man and a brilliant boss.